Welcome to episode three of The Rumpus Room. Can you believe it? We've made it. We've made it. Look, it's been against all odds, actually, at this point. Um, uh, yeah, like we, I don't know, you may have noticed in episode two, sound, it was all right, but it wasn't quite It's a there. bit janky. Yeah. But also, Brooke, that's very on brand for us. Yeah, we did get stitched up a bit. There was no SD card left in the device where it should be left. So, there we go. Um, for those that don't know, like Brooke and I, our brand is just a little bit, we've always said like 90%, baby. 90%. 90%. Like, well, we are amazing and it just will always be at 90%. Yeah, yeah. It's we like, work super hard, but it will always be 90%. Like last last week's episode, unreal episode. <laughs> and then the, the the audio wasn't quite there, you know. It's just always so, 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 so. But hey, we'll get there. We'll get there. We've just come off the radio show and we had Reaper in, which was cool. Fuck, what a He's fella. A geezer, eh? Yeah, good guy from America. Um, he had some outrageous stories. Oh, yeah. What's, what, Brooke, what's just off, I don't know if we can talk about his story because he obviously has not give us, given us permission for that, but like off the top of your head, what is your like craziest DJ on tour story? Bear in mind, we're on a podcast that is connected and affiliated to MediaWorks. So keep that shit, you know? I don't know. It's hard. It's like, there's nothing crazy that stands out like instantly because it's like it's always just quite wild. Mm. Brooke's life is like, Brooke's life is like a movie. No, but honestly, this guy is just like a walking um, encyclopedia of like rinse chat. Like he's just got so many stories. I think it's like it needs to like get me going, and then I'd I'd probably figure it out. But surely yeah. something from your Hamilton days. Like I feel like you've done like you've been hitchhiked. Oh, you've picked we up. Went the, I partied at this. I kick on kicked on at this place once in Hamilton that was set for demolition, but it was like a nine person mansion or something, and it was set for demolition because going through there was going to be like a new motorway. And it was the it was quite a strange feeling because these people didn't give a fuck. Like it wasn't people weren't that just is like, my dream. People weren't, like there was like the people weren't just running around damaging the house, but it was just so gnarly and there was no neighbours. They were the last house standing in this whole area. And it was just pretty unhinged. Don't know whose house it was. What did you do? Did you bash anything? I don't know. I think I was just like you just you just got this care, no carefree attitude. Like nothing it doesn't matter about the carpet, it doesn't matter about this. Oh was, my god, I would piss on the floor. <laughs> Have you like? Have you ever not just thought like God? It would feel top three pisses in the world. One, um, <laughs> after a long car ride and you finally get to the toilet. Yeah. Two, naked outside. Just standing there, free handing it. Well, yes for you, but for me, I experienced that recently at Ozzy's birthday over in Waiheke. There was a there was a uh, a toilet outside, and I got to. Why was I naked though? Oh, I'd just come out of the shower. It's yeah. before everyone had come and I just got out of the shower and I was like, I was like, I really need to go to the toilet. And I was like, there's a toilet outside. And I was like, in my towel. And I thought, this is my moment to just experience it. So I just unraveled the towel, sat there in the nude, went to the toilet, and it was chilly. I could feel it all over my body. And it just was like a because you're like weeing, like you're just yeah. getting rid of things. It was a very freeing experience. That's my second p- big, yeah. big pee in the world. What would your favorite oh, be? Oh, I know what not to do. I pissed out a sunroof once. So, um, we, Sorry? Were, we were on our way to pick up someone from the airport, and we're like, we don't have time to stop. It was going from Hamilton to Auckland. And uh, my mate was driving, and I was like on the beers. And I think we'd like maybe already filled up the Powerade bottle that was in the car. <laughs> and I was like, don't worry. So I stood out the sunroof, and I was like, I know. I'll pee facing, like, peeing down the back of the car because we're going that way. But the thing about slipstreams, it's like a turbine. And so I started pissing, and it just started coming back at me. And no so, shit, and you so, pissed on you. You did that thing that that rugby player did, but first. Yeah, I was just pissing on myself. And then I came, ba- like? I came back into the car, and I was like, <laughs> like, battered with my own urine. And then my mate was like, I need a pee too, but I didn't warn him. I was like, yeah, get up there, mate. <laughs> <laughs> just get him up there. But, um, Wait, that's a, that's a road trip with the fellas, yeah, eh? Just pissing fellas. on yourself. Just, just dry starting out the sunroof. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Oh, funny. Um, last week we did, speaking of cars, last week we did um, crook license plates. Yeah, yeah. Uh, New Zealand's famous for really just out of pocket and out the gate personalised plates on your car. Um, you pay like about a thousand dollars for them mm. and you go into a website you can put in the thing it's you can have six digits or six like numerals or whatever a lot of the good ones are taken 
and a lot of people resell them. You can resell them for a lot of money. Uh, but we went through some of the biggest and best, and there were some grunters in there. There were so many funny ones. And since that video posted, and since this YouTube, like since this podcast went out, people have been like DMing us yeah. new ones. And so we just thought we're just while it's hot, while it's hot, while it's hot, we'll strike. draw around two. While the personalised plate is hot. But before that, and I have already tested this one on Brooke, so I'm just going to test the other people in the room, which is my partner G Boy. Um, here, here's my idea for a license plate. <laughs> And let me know what you think about this. E G G M O N. Eggmon. Eggmon. <laughs> Go on then. I'll buy it right now. Eggmon. <laughs> Oi, that's good, eh? Go on. Fucking tussle me up. Eggmon. <laughs> <laughs> it's sick. Okay. It'd be like a bricklayer owned that one, I reckon. I want that. So, G Boy, once we've got a bit more money, um, no, don't. Don't waste it. Hold on. Like what? Pause. Pause. Plates.co.nz, new sponsor for this. They're always looking for sponsors. Maybe we could give away one personalized plate and we each get one of our choice. Yeah. That's a pretty cheap sponsorship. <laughs> guys, obviously, you guys don't pay $1,000 for them. You guys are the ones making them. Anyway, carry on. Anywho, license plates, crook, crook license plates, round two, let's go. UB6, IB9. I don't actually know that one. So it's like, um, you be the six, I be the nine, 69. Oh, yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> and Hell you yeah. just know, you, this This is my favourite. It's like when you read these out, you just know. You can visualise it. You just visualise the owner, eh? Uh, H-O-L-U-X-E, Holux. <laughs> On a Hilux. Oh, yeah, you got all the ladies. If I had a Hilux, I'd have that. got all the ladies that. in my Holux. Um, T-P-N-G-P. Tip and gip. Tap and gap? <laughs> Tap and gap. That's <laughs> sick. Well, that's on a um, just got their restricted license, 17 and a half year old, and a hatchback of some description. Yeah. Tap and gap. Well, I spoke to so many chicks on the weekend. Don't ask them, though. <laughs> um, U-W-N-T-S-M. I used to have it on my Evo 8 and 10. You want some? <laughs> that's like my one. Egg me on. I reckon you and him in a drag race next to each other. You want some? You're going to egg me on. You yeah. want some? If I had an Evo, this is my big idea. If I had an Evo 10, Mitsubishi, if you're listening, if I had a Mitsi Evo 8 and 10, I'd get those like slashes that go shing out the side of my car. So when I drive past cubes, Nissan cubes, because they're, the, <laughs> they're the shit cars of the world, I'll go shing over their, um, over their tyres and then out the window, I'd go, you egg me on. Because I'd have the egg me on it as my number plate. Well, we could definitely rule out Nissan ever um, sponsoring the no, podcast. I, oh, fuck. No, nah, that's all right. I forget about that. That's all right. Hey, well, we can't have everyone wanting to sponsor us, so we have to tell some people to bugger off. Okay, O-N-X-T-C, on ecstasy. Oh, yeah. Barely, though, eh? Probably isn't. He's on fucking... Bar salt. <laughs> He's on bar salt. B-T-A-C-L-T, bar salt. <laughs> And you look, you drive past it, and some some fucking cunt hanging out his tongues, his tongues out the window. I'm all good to drive. <laughs> That's so not funny for him. I S K D K. I suck a dick. I suck dick. Oh, I suck dick. Wait, that would be mint if you were um if you ran like an OnlyFans or maybe like a high end like escort. Yeah, agency or something. shit. Yeah, oh eight hundred. I suck dick. Yeah, because like um. Personalized plates are also great for small businesses. Mm. That's like, a th uh, you know, you spend a lot of money on a billboard, but for that, that's a mobile billboard for $1,000. 100%. Damn, I'm giving these people way too much free airtime. P-N-O-G-R-L. Supposed to be Pino Girl, but just looks like Porno Girl. <laughs> You'd be hey. devo, eh? This and this is the sad thing about this is that that's forty year old that's forty year old Sharon who's like ju not forty that's sixty two year old Sharon who's like known to be a Pinot Pinot Noir drinker and she's like girlies I've gone and I've I've really put the money in for a thousand dollars to get myself my favorite little license plate and now everyone thinks it's porno girl. Oh man, do you reckon they had like a a group chat and all all the friends were like. Who's going to be the one to tell her? That's what everyone yeah. thinks it is. Yeah. Someone had to break it to her. Oh, and you know what it was? It was probably someone at the gas station who doesn't know. Oh, you porno girl. <laughs> <laughs> I-D-O. This is, the, this is phenomenal, okay? I-D-O-Y-A-X. It's on my mum's mate's 2004 Suzuki Liana. I do your X. 
<laughs> Fuck yeah, Sheila. So I reckon, is that like a, maybe like a, um, just a back on the town divorcee or something? Yeah, fuck. Just, I'll do your ex. That is the energy we're just bringing like, into 2025. Watch out, you your 20 year old other Sheilas. I'll do your ex. Yeah, hard out. The rest of 2024, we're humble. But 2025, we are, <laughs> I do your ex energy. Um, And last one here. No, sorry, I've got two more. Okay. I've got a hair on my face. Multiple, but I shave it. Um, S U C K E M on a waist sucking tank. Suck em. <laughs> Suck em. You could, yeah, that could, like, see, once again, small business, beautiful, or you could have it on a normal one. You're just like, Suck em. And you're just like, Mr. Uh, Bean pulling the fingers at everyone. Last one here. And honestly, this is probably, probably, oh, very fitting. This is probably my favorite one out of the bunch. F E W A P Y. It's on a speech therapy tutor car. Fewapi. <laughs> Fewapi. Do you reckon? Do you, do you reckon when her first client comes and she's like, read my plate? And they're like, Fewapi. And she's like, I knew you needed to come here. <laughs> and like, even it's if, a scam. And I went there and she's like, mm, you can't read it. You better get in here. And she's like, I recognize you from Number Works. I'm like, fuck you. <laughs> I'm good with numbers now. Oh my god, man, that's so funny, Brooke. If you were a, um, this is fun when you think of like cars, like business cars for sp- specific businesses, and you license plate them to help with like what you do yeah. as a job. Fuck, I talked about that. I can't get my words out. Hold on. What if you were a builder? What mm. would you have as your license plate? Almost like, I, almost like suck them. Just nail them. Yeah, that's good. I've got one. B-T-T-C-R-K. Butt crack. <laughs> <laughs> that's good, eh? The plumber. <laughs> yeah. Oh. But that's genius. Do builders... I thought builders were the ones that the builders... Oh, builders crack. crack. Yeah. Builders, builders crack. crack. Yeah. What's a... Um, yeah, what's a... What could be like a... What for like a vet? Um, K-hole. A horse vet. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know we had to specify what Did type of it. Did you see there was a horse that had cocaine in its blood? Yeah, it, I've read the article, I naturally. I don't like that. But it's also quite interesting, hey, it like was, usually um, for, uh, for humans you get stitched up with a bump of care <laughs> instead of a bump of cocaine. But I feel like they've stitched up the horse with a bump of cocaine and not a bump of care. He's like getting a hip surgery and he's wide awake. <laughs> Oh. oh, I don't like that. Nah, no, no, it was, it was like in a race. It was in it was a racing horse, and it was. Was it okay though? I didn't read it because I felt no, yeah, sad. Yeah, great time. Had like Kanye shades on. <laughs> um. Oh, you're probably wondering what this is here. Yeah. What is it? This here. <laughs> I'm nervous. He's been teasing this all day, by the way. He's been going like this. Ooh, what's it's this? It's actually, it's actually not for you. Oh. This is, no, this is a little. Last week, I made that whole episode about you, fella, and we had cakes being flowing in. We had balloons. <laughs> I yeah. had Nero giving you a jumper, and you've been teasing me with hey, this I, envelope. No, but you're going to, you 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 enjoy this secondhand, and also actually firsthand. <laughs> uh, this is a present for our sound engineer, G-Boy. Do you want to come and you want to come and get it? Why has he always got no shoes on? I love you, baby, but like need to put no, his crocs are over there. Oh, okay. And he, I don't come. I don't come here without stuff. Oh, sit. You can sit. You can what? sit in the middle. Just quickly open it and see what it is. It's just a little wee gift from me and Arzy. What? Yeah. Why have you guys got me something federal? You got me a fe- uh, like a federal. Uh, federal. <gasps> yum yum. Oh, the, for his birthday! Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so thanks, you can go, babe. I'd hug you, but oh, oh, look at this! So you can, um, My two guys. What you know? Why I picked it? I was like, I was thinking, I was like, I want to give you guys a little uh, restaurant experience, but <gasps> catered to G Boy. Yeah. And I was like, what's some of the best beige food in town? <laughs> You know? Oh my god, that's brilliant, eh? Because I'm like quite exquisite with my food taste, and G Boy like just takes me to those restaurants and will have the fries from the kids' menu, and I'll sit and eat like the <laughs> lobster and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. So there but you that's go. really cool, Brookie. There you go. So Thanks, that. Brooke and Arzi. Yeah, Appreciate that. There you go. Unreal. Oh, okay. Get out of here, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of friends, and also like, coming on for a podcast. <laughs> what? 
most beige food ever. <laughs> no, the most no, delicious beige. Yeah, the heart out. Uh, you, you know what I mean. You know. I would love, oh my God, I would love, to, I would love some loaded fries right now. Ooh. And they're like, um, they're sandwiches, they're sangers. I've never actually had them. Oh, there's like a chili, oh, I think there's, uh, there's like a chicken, um, like a chicken club sandwich kind of operation, but it's like hot. I think so. I could oh be my wildly God. off. How good, like, do you know what the most underrated food is in the entire world? Bread. <laughs> do you know, I've been, oh, I want to die on that hill. Versatile. Is it because you're like steering away from it at the it's moment? It's because I can't have it right now. So I'm like, that is the best. And everyone's like, no, we definitely do rate it. We just, <laughs> it's just like kind of normal for us. Nah, there's definitely tears to bread. Most, vers- most versatile vegetable and or food, the potato. Man. Speaking of, how's that motorcycle? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So. How's me segueing into like the things that he's supposed to be segueing into it? Well, I've completely forgot about that. Um, so coming up in like a, I don't know, maybe like a month or so, um, I got approached from a undisclosed motorcycle uh, manufacturer. You're going to love this. And they were like, hey, Brooke, would love to would love to get you on a bike, like loan out a bike to you for like a couple of weeks. Just not like you don't need to make a reel or a TikTok or this. But like if you can, if you want, or just put on your story, it's fine. But And this is big for Brookie because this is where you've you've been doing a few fucking paid posts, but you've been working towards getting the big dogs. Yeah, that's right. You want those big ambassador ships. And you're a big pet head. Yeah. I mean, yeah. He's so a huge pet head. used to be a motorbike mechanic, and so it all ties in. I still actively work a little bit as a motorbike mechanic. You you've know, got your motorcycle license, eh? You trying to gaslight me? <laughs> do you have, do you, oh, do you have your motorcycle? Any homes? <laughs> uh, they're, they're like, hey, here's a list of bikes that we've got in the showroom that we can loan you out. All 2024 versions, blah blah. So I was like, oh, this is amazing. This is super cool. Went through, had a look at a bunch of them, and I was like, oh yeah, I want to get this one. And it's this big fuck off big boy tourer. It's got the like the side panniers, the side bags. It's got a big elevated seat for Arzi, which is basically like an armchair. What, like yeah. a high chair? Yeah, she's just like above me. She's <laughs> like king of the, queen of the road. Um, we'll probably get some intercom things so we can just chat to each other, like the old geezers. Oh, I forget. We're talking about a motorbike here. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This at this stage, you probably know the brand by now. Um, Arzi can do that sexy, like she can do the sexy thing where you like kind of lean back on the motorbike and like the wind's in your hair. And. Um, Sure. I got this email sent across and they're like, hey, you just need to fill out all this stuff because it's quite like a big deal. You're riding like a motorbike. They're quite dangerous. Sent them the license. They ask questions like, how often do you ride? How many Ks have you done recently? This, this, this. Also, they ask what kind of models you'd be um, kind of happy with riding in the way of like how much they weigh. Yeah. And stuff like that because obviously the heavier bikes, you've got to like be very careful maneuvering them and it's quite an ordeal. Mm. And I was like, yeah, yeah, sweet. I've used to do this for five and a half years and I still do like I'm, I can ride a bike kind of vibe and I was like yeah yeah take it off everything yeah mint 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 uh, this is the one I'm keen on we'll take it a, we'll take it to the beach for a weekend big, oh, it's got speakers at the front and everything <laughs> <Fuck>. <laughs> and, and then, he was gearing up for oh, all of this I was love it then I get this email and it's like hey this is because it goes through my agent hey we just had this from the client through the agent they're like hey so what we're gonna do um, so we'll get him in. We'll just do. We're gonna do like two week loan. Uh, just to just as his, it's his, his first loan with us. We're gonna. Um, these are the three bikes he can choose from. <laughs> and I was just like, these like just little whipper snippers. <laughs> so Brooke was thinking he was gonna get the big dog one, and he's been given the scooter. <laughs> Is it electric? <laughs> no, I'm still grateful. Because this is the foot in the door yep. of getting the big boy. But I was just like, I was like, I, what, I, the, one of the things I was just instantly with it, it was a bit of the ADHD sensitivity rejection kind of ordeal. I was like, I was, I was taken back and I was slightly offended, <laughs> uh, slightly insulted. Uh, they, they were like, yeah, this guy doesn't know how to ride motorbikes. <laughs> Mechanic doesn't mean anything around here. Also, for those that don't know Brooke to this extent, like Brooke is someone that knows how to do the thing, and he doesn't do well 
taking like any sort of direction or feedback from people most he's getting heats better yeah. but you know how to do it and you don't need someone to tell you how to do it because you're just always the guy that's always knowing how to do it yeah so for them to come back to you and be like hey, we're going to put you on the little one so that you can just practice first i think it's uh, the funniest shit ever um, yeah I, so i'm like i'm it's like, like okay the equivalent what is the equivalent okay it's like the equivalent of um me getting a gig and then being like, we're going to put you on a controller just because we don't know if you know how to do yeah. CDJs yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little controller. And you're like, fuck you, man. Or it's like, um, maybe it's like, oh, we'll get this amazing makeup brand. It's like, hey, we're going to send you all this stuff, do a few tutorials, but we'll, we'll, we'll just give you the moisturizer first. <laughs> yeah. Start with, so maybe start with the sunscreen. <laughs> show yeah. us how to do that. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I know. Uh, but no, fuck. it'll be um, it'll be good. So stay tuned to Brooke Gibson on Instagram for some stories. Yeah, and when you do see them, like like him and like comment, like we <laughs> said, I could get the big boy. one so that if you support him on these things, then he gets the big boy one. Yeah. Fuck, that's funny. Where are you off to this evening? Um, to the uh, Movember, uh, some Movember awards. Now, Movember for those that awards. are not New Zealand based, what is Movember? Um, so it's a men's orientated charity. Um, which is obviously during November, they get guys to grow mows for Movember to raise awareness for uh, men's mental health mainly mm-hmm. and things like testicular uh, and prostate cancer. And just kind of like getting the conversations going is the whole reason for the month is to like be like, you know what, like have those conversations with your mates and uh, check in and that kind of stuff and hopefully you build habits to then continue that after November and carry on. Uh, and I've been doing things each Movember for years and years and years. and You've been a bit of an ambassador, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so they're having, I think it's like their first awards, and so they've got a whole bunch of, I think, things going down, a bit of like a meet and greet and this kind of stuff. Uh, Are people but, meeting and greeting you? No, no, no. I think it's like a like a, a bit oh, of a, a mixer. Mingle, a a mingle. bit of a mingle mixer. Oh, is that why they call it a mixer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, and then you... Yeah, sit down and they run through all these awards and I'm up for, I think I'm nominated for the... The fun guy. It's like <laughs> the fun guy. I can't remember Brookie's the exact... up for the fun guy I think, award. I can't remember the exact thing, but it was like the um, raising funds and having fun doing it kind of... And that is so true. Isn't that yeah. so true? So... um, That is you to a T, So Gibson. after this, I'm going to whack on my little um, my little Do suit. Do it now. My little suit is downstairs. Oh. I'm very hot and sweaty. We need to yeah. turn down the um, air con in this room. Yeah, we do. I, I need, need to like not wear um, track pants. I need to bring um, my hand fan for you so I can give you a little blast every now and then. Yeah. But that's exciting. So you're going to go mingle with, um, is it just men only? Nah. Is it the gentleman's club tonight? Nah, nah, Arzi's coming with. Uh, but I think it's just... I think oh, that- what's Arzi wearing? Oh, I don't know. I think she's getting quite sourced up for it. Like, <gasps> saucy, saucy girl. Oh, my gosh. Um, but no, Movember is definitely not like, it's very inclusive charity, right, yeah. you know? Like, um, I mean, chicks get moustaches. <laughs> exactly. Fuck, put me on as an ambassador. <laughs> and um, but they, you, you can also do things in like, because, you know, like mothers have sons and yeah, you've true. got brothers and all that kind of stuff. So it's kind of like, yeah, and it's one of those things, you know, just a big support network. True. So. Um, notoriously, Brooke and Arzi, when they have date nights, just the two of them uh, in the city, you end up at the CAS. So is that on the cards for this evening? One week ago, it was after my birthday, and we went to the CAS, and we played your favourite game, the, the massive spinning, spinning wheel. One. And we got Gamble up. Gamble responsibly. We got up. So it's this massive wheel. It's got all these country flags on it. It's like... Um, <laughs> Are we talking about this? I don't know. The the UK one the UK one has like thirty UK flags and then America's got like twenty and they get rarer and rarer and you just kind of place your bets and then spin this huge wheel and I fuck put, the the best thing about it for me Brookie is the noise oh it's got a good tick on it doo-goo, doo-goo, doo-goo. and I think um, that was pretty good doo-goo, 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 doo-goo. and it slows down doo-goo, 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 doo-goo. boom China China flag and I won big I think I put about ten bucks on it. How much did you win? I think it was like the odds are like one to... Oh, yeah, because China's not around there often. Yeah, it's not many often. So I think it gave us like 80 bucks or something. And we went and frizzled around. And I think we walked out 150 up. And <laughs> instead of cashing it all out into human dollars, <laughs> I cashed out all of it, but $50 in chips for some unknown reason. I think it was to... I wanted to do that to then entice myself to go back at a later date. Oi, Brooke, we've got heaps. <laughs> we've got heaps of chips at home. How much worth do we have? Two hundred twenty dollars. Whoa! Oh, treat yourself Wait, to that. Look, I mean, gee, boy, you could literally we cash have, that in. We need that money. 
So let's go and cash that in. Who is it uncomfortable? Uh, is it uncomfy if we just like rock up like this? Like, hey, just coming in to cash in our chips. Nah, I got denied in a suit last time. <laughs> After um, radio Brooke awards, always gets denied from the gas. And then people walking out in jandals. I'm like, <laughs> fuck me. Draw the line, guys. Draw the line. <laughs> Sky City, you're not a sponsor, are you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, speaking of, Sin, have you told the people? Or well, the people on the show would have heard, you're going dancing again. Oh my God, guys, this is like so hectic. Um, in another life, as in like five, ten years ago, I was a full-time dancer. So before radio and whatnot, like I was a full-time dancer. I danced like back, I did like backup dancing for X Factor and like um, was... Did you like music videos and stuff or did you like I didn't teach do people any, as like, well? I didn't do any like official um, music videos, but I was definitely did like live TV stuff. Um, but I also was like a dancer for our national basketball team called the Breakers. Well, I don't know if they're the national basketball team. Breakers. For our Breakers basketball team and then also for our national league team, the Warriors. Up the for wires. like so long, so much of my life. And I was also like a dance teacher during that time. But anyways, um, they have like, they got rid of the dancers. I guess like cash or whatever. I reckon Couldn't it was PC it. gone mad. <clears throat> yeah, well they made it. Oi, how's this, okay? We used to like wear cute little outfits with like frilly little skirts and shit. We felt hot and cute, whatever, on the field. And then all of a sudden they put us in like three quarter, <laughs> three quarter zip offs. Not the cargo. <laughs> they were like, um, here's your uniform for this year. Wait, were, were they like, like what the fuck were they is down, that? Were they down to here and then you did can... you have to tighten them? <laughs> Like, ooh, what are you doing? That's that's the thing. That's the other thing. I suppose like some people are like, oh, you're getting objectified out there. But are you going out there being like, I've trained, I'm showing my craft, I'm fucking, I'm smashing the shit, I'm feeling sexy and hot. Like, yeah, let me do my thing. Let me do my thing. You know, like the boys were allowed to run out there on their like little tight little yeah. shorts, and it, no, no one's like six. Yeah, arguably you know? their kits are just getting tighter and tighter. And like lots of hugging on mm, the field, you know? Ground like, hugging. A lot of ground hugging. Like, I don't know, man. <laughs> Whatever. Anyways, they got rid of the chicks after they gave us cargo pants. And <laughs> we mm. um, just saw the other day that they're bringing them back. Yeah. The Sky City Cheer. Is it Sky City? I th- is it just the Breakers? The Breakers Cheer Girls. I think BNZ are the main sponsors of Breakers. BNZ Breaker Girls, which is yeah. so sick because also like just dancing at Spark Arena on that court, like it's, this is giving me flashbacks with the lights. Like it was just so much fun and it was so cool. Anyways, we've got in touch with Kimbo who is like the um, one of the OG Breaker Girls yeah. and she's now running it and she said I can come back for one dance. Yeah, one dance, one dance only. So, team, anyone in, um, anyone who wants to come to the game, which we determine, make sure you head along. Uh, we'll make it a bloody hiss and a roar. But, yeah, you're going to go do some tr- uh, some rehearsals. Yeah, I'm going to go to rehearsals and everything, guys. It's going to be, like, full bore. And then, but- you, yeah, then you come in hot, half time. Oh, there's quarters. So you get first, second. Did you know back in the day I did – yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we, well, it's, I didn't know. Well, do you dance at the start works. as well before the start of the game? I do you dance like works. five times? No, we the, we we do half time. So like in between the oh, first okay. two and the second two. Oh yeah. yeah wait, yeah. wait. Also, and how, in the car park. How good's this? Or tigers. <laughs> Brooke, we also did a. Um, I have a routine to this. I'm not going to show it to you because I can't f- remember it. But we did a routine to this song. Do you want to hear it? Please do. Go, B, go. Do it. Go do a dance. Show me. Come on. Do something that you reckon they'd do. <laughs> what you reckon the breakers would do. Go. Oh. Oh, my God. You can literally throw it back so hard. It's so crazy. <laughs> the pop the rabbit or something. How good, eh? Do you reckon they'll throw back to some of the old tunes? Or, like, or do you reckon they'll have a bit of a mashup? Oh, honestly, I just know there's one routine that's coming back and I hope it's the one that I can get involved in because I still know it off by heart. It's the Proud Mary uh, routine. And is it fucking gas. Do you have like code names or is that the name of the song? Or Proud the- Mary, keep on burning. Oh. Roll it. Yeah, yeah, that meant, one. Meant. So that's going to be fun. Did you? Did they give you pom-poms or did you have yeah, pom-poms? Yeah, we have pom-poms. Yeah, we have pom-poms. Did they bring them back? 
I don't know. God, it's so strange. Like, I just, I feel like it's only 10 years ago, but I can't really remember all the details. It was just a blur. It was just a good time. It was your... a time of my life where I was partying a lot. Yeah. And me and the Breaker Girls were partying. Responsibly, of course. Um, but shit, we had, you know, when, when the break, when the Warriors were playing down in Hamilton and all the girlies had to go down and oh, we'd be bus. put in a hotel for, for, oh, for the night, the girls were on. Shit. That it was been a fun the, time. Days of like flow, maybe a bit of static, Outback would have been Herman. Um, Bloody hell. Yeah, it was a good time in my life. Still got those three-quarter pants? <laughs> <laughs> nah, we, um, three-quarter pants are coming back in. They call them, um, oh, what do they call them? Ah. The girlies will help me out in the comments. What are the three-quarter pants? They go to there and all the girlies are wearing them. I've got some. Capris. Capris. How do you know? Because you, you were talking about capris eight months ago. <gasps> and they're still not in. <sighs> I literally could not have asked nah, for anything I... more than, to Brooke, for, than for Brooke to, to shout me like that. Um, <laughs> shout me. The hey, you need the. I lo, used to lose the. Um, I used to do the three quarter zip offs in primary, and I'd zip them off to play football at interval, and then I'd lose the bottom halves, and I'd only have one. So I'd walk around like a fucking pirate, and I'd come home, and Mum's like, "Where is one quarter of your three quarter zip offs, you fucking imbecile?" And I'm like, Argh. and you know, and, this is when he was unmedicated. Yeah, um, a year ago, I think. Um, and then. I'd have to go to school and like go to the <laughs> lost property bin thing, and it smelled so bad. There was slazenger shoes in there amongst the mix, um, and I'd have to hunt for the piece of my oh, leg. Oh man! Yeah, rough. I'm. I actually kind of. You know? Do you miss high school? Some of you know it. how people are like, man, take me back to high school. I could. Oh, I do right. not want to go back to high school. I hated yeah. high school. There's like some parts, but I do miss like... primary school. Like, yeah. remember you just like little. I feel like you just run around all day. You do. What do you do? What do you do at primary? Yeah, you just um, you scratch your bum. You literally just like. <laughs> That's it. I feel like you kind of just like play <laughs> tag with your crush and like handball. Yeah. Um, I was speaking the other day. Remember? Remember when you like. What? Um, <laughs> when you. Each class had like a. Did you have like a ball bin? So it's like you get a rugby ball. A basketball, a football, like a soccer ball and like something else. And it had uh, your class numbers written on it. And then other classes would like steal them during lunchtime. Oh, like, I don't know if oh, we, we did used to have that. that. It was like a big ball currency, Peach Grove Intermediate. <laughs> you used to steal them and like, and you'd scribble out their room number and write number 22, you fucking dickhead. <laughs> We're keeping like, this. This is Brooke with the beer fridge at George. <laughs> This yeah. is George's. Yeah. This is George's are, only. They are labelled as ours. Um, but yeah. Man, school was so much fun. And did you know in year six, I got into the music class? Did you? In year six, we had divided the students uh, to what they were good at. So there was the sport class, there was the nerds, there was the science geeks, and then there was like the music class. And I was in that class with my best friend, Harry. What was your first instrument, instrument you played? Oh, I've played everything. No, I haven't. Uh, first instrument, of course, was recorder, as we all were. Yeah. Then I moved on to the flute, and then I moved Surely on to clarinet. <laughs> no, I was never clarinet. Didn't really get around to read. <laughs> clarinet. There was a certain type of person that played the clarinet. Did you reckon? What did you play it? No, my sister, <laughs> Hazel Gibson, loved the clarinet. <gasps> Hazel's a weapon. I take it back. I, um, but I'm sorry. <laughs> the clarinet. Did no, it bring, was odd. It was it odd. Would, and it's yeah, it's one of those things because. It's like, all right, you're going to learn an instrument. What do you want to pick? Okay, you pick clarinet. We go to a place. We rent one. Oh, we've got to buy some reeds. What are, there's, just, <laughs> there's just something about the people that play clarinets. They're all very similar. Um, then I went on to play piano, Brooke Gibson, and I went to um, Mrs. Dorothy's house every Thursday, who was a severe Christian. Oh, does he? Yep. And so I'd go there and she'd- Did have, she ever get cured? She'd make- <laughs> I'd actually like to know if she's, oh, she'd be dead now. Would she you? was old. She was old. Oh. And her house had a particular smell. Kind of miss her. Death? Uh, mothball-y. Close. No, actually, no, I take it back. It always smelled like cooking or baking. Oh, yeah. It was really nice, Edmund's actually, Miss Dorothy. But I, I did go there and she made me pray. Yeah. That's she it. made me pray before my piano lesson. I kind of told my mum and dad and I was just like, just deal with it. Yeah, it's an odd one, isn't it? Yeah. Did you ever make <laughs> friends with your teachers? Oh, yeah, yeah. So uh, when I was... At Boys High, I was, I left Boys High at the end of sixth form and I went to Hillcrest High in Hamilton for seventh form. But while I was still at 
boys high. I was like 17, but there was like a couple bars in town I could just like kind of walk into because I happened to know the people so that I didn't get ID'd. And I was there one like Thursday night because it was a student night, but quite early. So like have the like probably cheap burger and fries and beer or something. And <laughs> I'm like going down there, sit down in the garden bar area, some guy on acoustic guitar, someone's singing. And I like look up and it's like my PE teacher on the guitar. Did you guys, was he a, closet, and, was he a closeted guitar player? No, I think it was more that I was underage and he was at the oh, bar. Oh, okay. But also, yeah, no, also I didn't know he like when it did that because he oh didn't, my God. he wasn't going to like tell the, the no, but, young students, be no, like, hey but, guys, I go to bars. No, and but guitar guys do usually no, tell true. people, you know. And um, hey, he, I was, play guitar. he was just going for it. And then I, he like, we clock eyes and he's just like, <laughs> anyway. And then afterwards, like he finished his set and then. Um, went and had like a beer with him, and he's just like, he's. It wasn't like, oh, bro, you get out of here or anything. He was just like, he was just like, whatever. He's man. like, hey, man, like, <laughs> you don't say anything. I don't say anything. Like, <laughs> he's like, we're out of school. Like, this is. I, I haven't. I didn't see anything, and I was like, you're a cool guy. Do you think one of those? Do you think? Um, because like we obviously have just like that. For instance, you've just basically said that you've broken the law, but it's like one of those laws that you just like. It's just a little bit just like whatever. Well, it's like when, but also you. You read people's autobiographies and mm. they just spill it all out, <laughs> like how the loosest shit they've done, how they've like done this, done that, and it's all illegal. And you're like, it, I, I don't know, it's a weird thing. It's like, could they be done, but no one just can be bothered? I think, or Brooks, like, yeah, you've, you've said this to me a few times. You've gone, when can I spill all? <laughs> I'm just like, let's wait uh, maybe 40 years. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it is what it says, like, you know, Anthony Kiedis, there's a lot of fucking, fucking loose shit in that heavy. biography, isn't there? Yeah. And then you're like, He's never going to get taken Done court for it. for it. Nah. It's an odd... But we, you are jotting down stories in your notes for an autobiography one day, eh? Because <laughs> fuck me, that is going to be a read. Yeah. Even me, as your best friend, I know, like, so many of your life stories. But, like, I still reckon I'd read that and be like, Jesus Christ! <laughs> uh, yeah, when you've got time to write it out and, like, really get into the details... Oh yeah, do some gnarly stuff. Fuck heavy. Um, I reckon that might be a wrap on on episode three. Yeah, you got to get off to your. Uh, you oh, got to so go to your mole awards. Oh yeah. Um, did you want to do some um breath work to get you prepared oh, for that? Hell yeah, everyone! I'm doing breath work at the moment. <clears throat> and um, I thought this would be a nice <coughs> way to end the podcast, taking Brooke through a, a breath work exercise. And honestly, you can play along with us at home as well. Great new thing that I'm introducing into my life morning and night nice if you there's a specific one that you do in the morning that gets you fucking up and going yeah and then there's a specific one that you do at night time to like shh, Will you down I'm gonna get you the one I'm gonna just I've, I've just found one on TikTok so just go with us here are you ready do I close my eyes yeah probably this is a homing exercise pronounced om om This exercise is known as a form of internal medicine in that it's a healing practice. Begin each ohm with your mouth open and finish each ohm with your mouth closed. The ohm will gently vibrate your nasal passages, which nice for you. increases nitric oxide levels, allowing your body to better absorb oxygen. After each ohm, be sure to slowly inhale through your nose, gently filling up your lungs before going into your next ohm. Also, when you breathe in, Brooke, breathe in with the thought of trying to expand into your tummy. You see how you breathe into yeah. your chest? See how you were breathing into your chest? That's what hyperventilates people. Yeah, you want to fill that tummy, babe. Fill it. Fill it. <laughs> <laughs> um, um. Okay, ready, ready, ready? Yeah. You'll notice as soon as we finish the exercise, you'll feel more relaxed. Beginning on my cue, we'll complete four ohms. This is your practice, so go at your own pace. I'm only here to help guide you. Let's begin. Um. Am, I, <laughs> am I meant to be going in or out? Out, um, out. Um, <laughs> um, 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 Still going. <laughs> I'm out of breath. <laughs> now breathe in through the nose and your tummy should be flattening. Tummy should be flattening. Now out. Um, 
That was so good. Do you feel relaxed? <laughs> I feel a bit out of it. Apparently, makes you high. Yeah, I definitely feel like I've like been around something. Like the mushroom lord or the the shaman. <laughs> okay, go get your kid on because you're about to go win the fun guy award at the moment. Member awards. Good this luck. Guy, episode three done and dusted. Who am I? Like and subscribe. <laughs>